CBS News transportation expert Mark Rosenker joins me now from Washington to discuss the situation. Mark, we know Sala is a famous prankster on YouTube. This latest video has sparked a lot of speculation whether it was real or not. Is there any sort of process when you're trying to investigate these types of incidents? Well, certainly the flight crew is going to be interviewed. The passengers, if they're, if it's possible to locate them again, to be interviewed as well. But the reality is the airlines have a great deal of discretion. When you buy a ticket, you're going to adhere to the contract of carriage. And the contract of carriage are the rules and regulations that you as a passenger are supposed to adhere to when you are on board that aircraft. Mark, Delta said in a statement that more than 20 customers actually expressed their discomfort. So what's the protocol when airlines get these complaints from passengers? Well, the reality is it doesn't happen very often. Last year, uh, 82 people were removed from an airplane. Uh, when we see almost uh, 11 million flights in the United States uh, during that same period. So it's a rare occurrence. But again, the airline has a great deal of discretion in uh, who they fly and the behavior of those that they do fly. So how does this work, Mark? Is there a certain number of passengers that have to complain before an airline takes action? No, not at all. The, uh, the actual uh, in-flight crew can uh, look at a passenger and then, in fact, uh, do an assessment. And then, of course, uh, make a decision, which is ultimately made by the captain. Uh, and then, of course, uh, if he's still on the ground, uh, someone will uh, come on board to escort the uh, person off. We don't talk about this often, Mark, but what are the rights of the airlines and the rights of the passengers that people might not know when they're getting on board a plane? Well, the airlines really have uh, the advantage here. Uh, you're expected to comply with all of the rules and regulations of the contract of carriage. And when you basically, the, the main one that you need to be uh, watching for is behavior. And the behavior, of course, is very broad in the contract of carriage. Uh, if, in fact, you appear to be uh, intoxicated, under the influence of drugs, uh, sick, all uh, behaving in a way that's abusive to other passengers or offensive to other passengers or aggressive to other passengers. All of these things are uh, looked at by the flight crew and then they make the decision, the ultimate decision, of course, by the captain to uh, remove that passenger. And do you think we can expect any sort of government agency to respond to this incident? No, I'm not really. Uh, again, uh, this seems like a, uh, a civil type of an action that in fact uh, the airline has the right to, to take people off the airplane that they do not believe uh, are appropriate for this particular flight. So the rules and regulations are very clear as it relates to the contract of carriage and uh, anyone with any sense is going to act appropriately, particularly during these times. Uh, it's time to make sure that everybody is doing the right thing and crossing their T's, dotting their I's when in fact they're on board an airplane, particularly an international flight when these difficulties are occurring. Mark Rosenker, CBS News transportation safety expert. Thank you, Mark. You bet.